So epithelial defect is a prerequisite for any organism to cause a corneal ulcer. But there are five microorganisms which can penetrate in the intact epithelium and cause corneal ulcer. So you must know what are the names of these organisms. They are Corinibacterium diphtheriae, Listeria Shigella, Nizeria and Haemophilus. So it is very easy to remember once you have a mnemonic for them. So the mnemonic is contact lens safe nahi hai. It is easy once you have this mnemonic contact lens safe nahi hai. So these are the five organisms which can penetrate inside the cornea with an intact epithelium to cause a corneal ulcer. Now next question here is what is the most common organism otherwise to cause the corneal ulcer. So the most common organism worldwide is a bacteria and it is Staph aureus. So it is Staph aureus. But in developing countries it has been found that it is streptococcus pneumoniae which is most common. So in developing countries, in India you can also say in developing countries we have streptococcus pneumoniae which is the most common organism to cause corneal ulcer. Now this is a very special type of ulcer which is caused by pneumococcus. This is called as creeping corneal ulcer or a serpentine ulcer. So you, you can see very well in this picture that this is a special ulcer caused by pneumococcus. Here the ulcer starts like a snake, like a serpent. It starts from the periphery, it migrates to the center and simultaneously it clears out from its tail. So it moves to the center like a serpent. Now guys, this has been given a special name, a hypopeon corneal ulcer. Guys, most of the ulcers when they are affected by fulminant organisms, they can cause hypopeon. Those ulcers will be called as corneal ulcer with the hypopeon. But this is an ulcer which has been given a special name a hypopeon corneal ulcer. This is because this ulcer has a high chance of perforation. They are very very dangerous ulcer. There is a high chance of perforation. Now another important feature about this ulcer is that this is associated with a very high amount of inflammation, a very high amount of uveitis or inflammation of anterior segment. So this is a special ulcer, pneumococcus, serpentine ulcer, hypopion corneal ulcer, perforations and high uveitis. This is all you must know about this type of ulcer. Now guys, if we look at a picture of corneal ulcer, this is a typical picture of a patient with active corneal ulcers. Let us now discuss the symptoms and signs.